Oh. Hi, my name is Minister Cynthia Gosley, and I come to you by way of the New Mount Olive Baptist Church, where my pastor is Pastor Lavina Johnson Smith. And today I would just like to give you some words of encouragement. So first, let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to give you glory, honor, and praise. I come to lift up the name of Jesus. I come thanking you for this opportunity to just enlighten someone, to bring encouragement to someone, to lift someone's spirit. So I pray that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Jesus name. Amen. So I am my scripture will be coming from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. And um, actually, let us read 16 through 18. And it says, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. As we uh, embark upon the season of Thanksgiving, we often begin to think about what has transpired throughout the course of the year because we are beginning to lean into the end of one year and to the beginning of another. It is time that we often begin to reminisce and count our many blessings. We are reminded to give thanks unto the Lord because giving thanks makes us appreciative of the blessings and it makes us mindful that all good and perfect things come from above. This is the easy part. But what about rejoicing, praying, and giving thanks when everything isn't going so well? When you feel like you are walking through the valley of the shadow of death, what about those dark seasons in your life? What about the person who is dealing with adultery or the couple who has been yearning for a child, gets pregnant and then miscarry? Or what about the person who went to the doctor and received a devastating report? What about the parent who watches their child suffer and there is nothing that they can do? Or the single mother who is doing everything she possibly can to make her house a home for her children and receives an eviction notice on the door? Or what about the person who is consumed by financial demands or the woman who is suffocating from the desires of being loved by the husband that she has been praying for for years? Or the one who feels they are at their wits end and can't take it anymore and is ready to throw in the towel. Let me just tell you that quitting is not an option. These scriptures, they, they tell us we should give thanks in all things. And that means even in the difficult situations, because it is an act of faith. Sometimes it is during these seasons in our life that it will take faith beyond measure just to thank God. We really have to trust God that he has a plan that we do not see that is working for our good, but more importantly, it is for the glory of God. Even if it doesn't make sense, we have to realize that God wants what is best for us. And in, unfortunately, we don't always know what is best for ourselves because we aren't able to look into the future and see the end of our story. Giving thanks in difficult time requires something more than superficial faith. God wants us to give thanks in the difficult times because he wants us to learn to walk by faith and not by sight. We have to learn to take our mind off of our circumstances 
and put our minds on what saith the Lord. We may not always understand why God is doing what he's doing or the way that he is doing it, but we have to lean not to our own understanding and acknowledge him in all our ways and allow him to direct our paths. You see, even during those hard times, we can have peace in the midst of our storm. We may not understand it, but half, if, half of the battle is already won if we can just wrap our minds around Romans 8, 28, that says, and we know that all things work together for good that to them, for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. David said this, we should give thanks because the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. It is during these difficult seasons of our lives that we cannot operate in our own strength. God give us strength when we have none of our own. I leave you with this. In Habakkuk 3.19, after rejoicing in difficulties, the prophet says, the Lord God is my strength and he will make my feet like hinds feet and he will make me to walk upon mine high places my brothers and my sisters it is not by power nor by might that we are able to endure but it is by the spirit of the lord who enables us to give thanks and to rejoice and hard times. I say to you, keep the faith, hold on to God's unchanging hands because he will see you through even in those hard places and those dark seasons of your life. Continue to lean, trust, and to, to depend on God for he alone is able to keep you when you can't keep yourself. Be blessed.